Oh hi there. Today, I want to tell you guys about Television Life Cycle Assessment. I am sure you guys know what is a television because it has been used worldwide. Let go and know more about television. Television have become an integral part of human daily life all over the world. According to the report by the National Broadcasting Council, the average poll spends at least six hours a day watching television programs. Not only that, an average Chinese resident spends at least three to four hours a day watching TV. Do you know that in 2000, the European citizens watched at least 203 minutes of live television programs per day? Do you guys know the history of television? If you guys don't know and want to know more about it, let us move to the next part where we can learn more about television history. Before television was made, pantelegraphy needed to be made first in order to transport drawings and notes across. Hi, I'm pantelegraphy. I can transport drawings and notes across distances. And I was invented by Giovanni Cassoni. Hello there. Do you know who am I? My master, John Logie Baird invented me in 1924 using cardboard a bicycle lamp and wax. And after that, I officially sold commercially in 1929, and my name was Baird Television. Do you know that in 1930s, I was a luxury item, where only the rich can afford. Meanwhile in 1940s, televisions like Motorola Garden boomed, and broadcast stations started producing shows. In 1950s, do you know that the first color television system had been invented? After that, in 1960s, the first television with remote control was introduced. And in 1970s, the first portable television was invented. And in 2000s, the first flat screen television has been invented. In 2010s, we can talk to television through an app. Amazing right? After the 3D television was created in 2010s, and after a few years later, a 4K flat screens are obsolete with the introduction of 8K resolution. Okay. Now let us move to the main part of this video. Television life cycle assessment. Television has six stages of life cycle. First stage is raw material or raw material extraction. Second stage is manufacturing and followed by third stage, which is packaging. The fourth stage is distribution and the fifth stage is consumer usage. The last stage is the end of life of the television. Okay, let us go deeper to each stage. The first stage is raw material or raw material extraction. In making television, there are three ranges of raw material needed. First range is gases which consist of argon, xenon and phosphorus. Next range is, is minerals which consists of silicon, lead, iron ore, copper, gold, quartz, magnesium, tin, coal, sodius H limestone and bauxite and the last range of raw mineral is sand next is manufacturing stage manufacturing stage of television is a process in processing the raw materials into material and making television such as glass steel metal aluminum thermoplastic synthetic rubber cardboard diode capacitors and flexible form Next part of manufacturing stage is the production of electronic components of the television such as the housing of the television, the television screen, the speaker, stand, the printed circuit board and cable, and the last part of the manufacturing stage is the final assembly of the television. To the next stage, which is the packaging stage, in order to secure the television from any damage, material such as boxes, Plastic styrofoam. Packaging straps and foam lattice are needed. The fourth stage is distribution stage. The distribution of television usually distribute by air, 
by water and by road. Next stage is consumer usage stage. This stage focus on consumption pattern. Electricity consumption and electricity mixed. The last stage is the end of life stage. The end of life stage of television consists of three part. The first part is the recycle part. In this part, material like metal, steel, aluminum, glass and cardboard will be sent to recycle center to be recycled. Next part is the incineration process where all types of plastic will be incinerated. And the last part is the dispose process. Thus where elements that cannot be recycled and incinerated will be disposed. Do you know what's out about life cycle assessment of a television? It's also give impact to the environment. So let's see the life cycle impact assessment of television. Production and combustion process of television surely give impact to the environment. Let's see what impact it's gave to environment. Do you know that? At least 2 kg SB and ammonia emission and approximately 1.2 kg SB in the subsequent combustion process has been emitted. 0.00024 kg CFC 11 emission emitted during subsequent combustion process. Over 3,500 kg of CO2 was emitted during the production and about 2,000 kg of CO2 during its combustion process. Approximately 40 kg oil ecotoxicity emission and during the combustion process approximately 20 kg has been emitted. Approximately 28 kg sulfur dioxide emission which lead to eutrophication. At least 25 kg PO4 emitted during production process and 14 kg PO4 emitted during combustion process and the emission during storage was 7 kg PO4 which lead to eutrophication. Approximately 145 kg ecotoxicity was emitted into the fresh waters during production and during subsequent combustion over 80 kg was emitted and over 40 kg emitted during storage process. At least over 1,200 kg toxicity was emitted to humans and 700 kg emitted during subsequent combustion. Photochemical oxidants by the television emitted about 1.18 kg of C2H4 during production and during the subsequent combustion at least 0.65 kg of C2H4 emitted. Next is the energy consumption. Energy consumption usually happen during the consumer usage stage. Do you know that approximately 3,700 kg CO2 has been emitted to the atmosphere which was resulted from the process of electricity consumption? The energy consumed of the television emitted was at least about 0.9 kg of C2H4. Approximately 25 kg emission of sulfur dioxide happened during the electricity consumption. So, do you have any idea how we can reduce the environmental impact of this television? Let us see what solution can be taken to reduce this environmental impact. During the raw material or raw material extraction stage, the use of toxic gases need to be decreased and change the raw material extraction into sustainability extraction. Meanwhile, during manufacturing stage, the factory should apply energy saving to all television and use more renewable energy. Next is during packaging stage. The factory should use more biodegradable packaging and also change the packaging into a recyclable and reusable packaging. To the next stage. Large trucks should be used during distribution to save the space and more set of television can be distributed. Beside. Use more train transportation and increase more usage of sea transportation instead of air transportation. The consumer usage stage. The consumer should practice more energy saving consumption by not watching television every hours but watch it moderately. The last stage is the end of life stage. Any material that can be recycled such as glass, metal, steels and other can be sent to the recycle center. In conclusion. Television do give impact to environment especially during the production process, combustion process and energy consumption process. However, 
There are also many solutions that can be taken to reduce the environmental impact for each life cycle assessment stage. Television is good for entertainment but watch it moderately because we need to protect our environmental. So now we finally finished all about the life cycle assessment of television. The life cycle impact assessment and also the solution of it. I hope you managed to get all information related to television life cycle assessment. But before we end the video, I would be happy if you like the video and share the video. And also please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.